challenge. This one's a level eight. We're doing it in JavaScript. It's called, if you can't sleep, just count sheep. Uh, so there's a link to the challenge in the show notes. The best way to get good at coding is to bang your head on the problem. And then if you get stuck, you got the video to fall back on. The other great way to get good at JavaScript is to subscribe to the channel because I post content all the time and you'll be notified uh, every time there's a new challenge to try out. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, if you can't sleep, just count sheep. Given a non-negative number, three, for example, return a string uh, with a murmur. One sheep, dot, 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 two sheep, dot, 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 three sheep, dot, 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 so on and so forth. Okay. Um, so what we can do here is we're going to I probably just for loop here. Uh, so we're going to have uh, let sheep string. Uh, so we'll have an empty string here and we're eventually going to return the sheep string. Okay. And so we'll do uh, for uh, we're going to have for let I uh, equal one. And we're going to keep the loop running for as long as i is less than or equal to num. We'll increment i. And so inside of here, we will say sheep string plus equals um, i. And I don't know if you can do, uh, if this is going to square, uh, adding an integer to a string. That might blow up. Uh, so let's see. Uh, I think I can just do i to string. We'll just make it fail safe. Uh, so we'll do space sheep dot dot dot. Okay. Uh, so let's test this out. I think that's enough to build our string from. Okay. Uh, so far, so good there. Now I'm going to show you a little bit of refactoring here. Um, we've got it working. So uh, we've always got this to fall back on. Um, you can also do reduce here. Uh, so reduce, you know, we think about a lot for um, actually, no, uh, for loops good. I say that uh, we don't have an array. I don't want to spend the time to build an array when we've got a for loop that works just good. All right. Great job, y'all.